from uh, Santiago de Cuba. Just having a final warm up and prep. His opponent, well, another young uh, Polish national champion at the welterweight division of 69 kilos. This is uh, Rafael Berzinski. Yeah. The of is of Cuba. In the front. This is a well-weight contest of five three-minute rounds. But now, the Nibiskim now is Nico, Vitami, in the blue corner. Please welcome for the Cuba Domateros, Arenoides, this Panga! Very highly of uh, Berzinski. We're told this is one of the, the Polish boxers to watch as the season unfolds. Is this going to be the upset? Or is this the ace in the pack for the hosts of tonight's match? In the blue corner, he is 31 years old. He stands 177 centimeters. He weighs 68 kilos. He is a world championship silver medalist. Arenoides, the Spaniard! A gentleman in those Nico in the red corner. He is 20 years old. He stands at 186 centimeters. He weighs 69 kilograms. He is the two time Polish championship bronze medalist. He is. Rafael Berczynski! Tim is Kelly, our referee from Ireland. Our judges from Sweden, Azerbaijan, Denmark, Argentina and Scotland. Five with the computer will randomly select three to take the scores. Big height difference, as you can see. 186 for Perzinski in the black and red shorts, boxing out of the red corner. For De Spagna of Cuba, 178 centimeters in height, but a lot of experience and brimming with confidence. Understandably so, after claiming a silver medal at last month's World Open Boxing Championships in Almaty, Kazakhstan. So you watch carefully, Perzinski this time, leads with the right, 
and the left, he hopes, is the big money shot. As for Espana in the white and gold shorts, lead hand with the left, and the right hand is the big money shot. So the Polish southpaw up against the orthodox boxer from Cuba. And it'll be interesting to see here how Perzinski tries to use that height and range advantage. He's fast, Espana. He's quick in and out. Trying to get the foot on the inside of his opponent to come in. With a big right hooked, usually to the, to the gut. And as for Perzinski, looking to get his foot on the inside and score with the left hook. That's what I'd like to see a little more of, a little more to the body for now. He's got a long upper torso. Brzezinski. Good finish from why the boxer could seal this first round. 30 seconds left on the clock. First of five three-minute rounds. And there's a good combination. And that, for me, now starts to give the ten-point must to the Cuban boxer. Spania almost chasing uh, Pazinski round the ring in the dying seconds there, but two or three very strong punches from the Cuban. 15, 20 seconds before the close of round one. And that's exactly where Espana will be looking to pick it up from in the second round. A lot of words. Intently. For me, the work in the last 20 25 seconds has given uh, Despania 10 points from all three judges at 10 8 from Judge C. That's good work for Despania. Well, Hubert uh, Migazev, the uh, Polish uh, coach, trying his best to uh, keep his team motivated, keep spirits up. Let's not forget that uh, the Hussars travelled to Russia for their opening match of the uh, fourth season and were defeated 5-0. Cuba has another one of their newly crowned world champions coming up in the next bout in the light heavyweight division with... Uh, Julio Cesar La Cruz, the doctor they call him, I love that name. And then uh, Toyrak, just a 19-year-old super heavyweight to close the evening. And that's someone that we haven't seen a lot of. But let's focus on Despania for now. Seemed to find it a little awkward to settle with the southpaw. It's a good jab. Lead jab from Terzinski. He's got a 
big uh, right hand punch. Espana and uh, Kaczynski just needs to keep moving. In with those combinations and back out again. He finds himself caught in the corner. And Despania can launch one of those big right hooks of his. I'm not sure whether Pazinski will be able to do much about the onslaught that will follow. Minute left, just uh, off a minute in the second round. Good body shot there from Despania. Perzinski caught with that right. He's got to keep boxing him at range, keep him out, keep him away, but he's also got to keep the momentum flowing here. Good left shot from Perzinski, that's better. Oh, but again, three, four punch combination from the Cuban. Huge muscle definition in the shoulders. And if he gets the leverage from that torso and the hips. Well, that right hand of Despania really can put the frighteners on uh, Terzinski. Better round for the Polish boxer, but I still have Despania in the blue corner for Cuba. Taking that second round and going two up. First two rounds comfortably going uh, Despania's way. Kaczynski needs to take this round if he's to turn this bout. As we pick up Poland's first win of the evening, but as you can see, Despania has come out in this uh, third round with a clear game plan. Drawing in his opponent so he can get in close. Not a knockdown. Slip on the canvas. Despania back up on his feet. Just uh, referee Kelly letting, uh, making it clear to Pazinski that that was a push to put the Cuban on the floor. Not a shot. Uh, combination shots there from De Spani. It started off big right hook. Downstairs, switches it upstairs. He's finding his rhythm now, De Spani. This is not good news for his Polish opponent. Again, some big punches, he's blooded the nose. And he's really starting to use his power to his advantage now. Cheeky little right screw shot there as well. He needs to keep moving here, Perzinski. And uh, he literally is cutting down the angles, isn't he, Despania? Giving this young Polish lad very little room to operate. And uh, not a lot of choice 
but to get caught. There it is again, the big right hand forces the pole. Really hitting him hard. Downstairs. Another three-point combination, this time launched with the uppercut. Seconds are oh, on again. Another hard hitting right shot from De Spagna. Look at the blooded mouths now. Excellent work from the Cuban. A real onslaught of uh, power punches from uh, Arisnoides de Spagna. Ah. Now, now you can see from the judges that's a 10 8 from all three. A clear winner with dominance is our interpretation of a score like that. Cut to the mouth, nose and eye for Terzinski. That was a little shove that put the Cuban on the canvas. Again, right hook. Fortunately, this final onslaught of punches was right on the bell of the third round. Second down, round three. Well, our announcer just getting his numbers a little confused. This is the fourth round. <laughs> I think he's getting us caught into this bout as the rest of us here but uh, the referee's watching this very carefully because uh, he's doing well to keep out of trouble here Pazinski and just try and pick off a shot or two but once again yeah as we expected as a standing count I'm not sure how much more of this treatment the referee is gonna let this uh, 20 year old Polish national boxer take. It's enough. Well, disappointment, it's a TKO in the fourth round. Two minutes, 08 into the fourth round. Serious cut to the nose and mouth. The power punches from uh, De Spagna. Calming words from the coach. Telling him that he's done well. But the sheer strength and speed, combine the two, you get a very powerful welterweight boxer indeed. And De Spagna, and his first taste of WSB competition in his first full bout for the Cuba Domadores, will earn a TKO, a technical knockout in the fourth round. Well, this uh, victory for De Spagna technically gives the match to Cuba. They will go to the top of Group B. Moides de España. Brimming with confidence after that silver from the recent Worlds. Pushes a TKO on uh, Rafał Perzinski of Poland in the men's welterweight division. 3-0 to Cuba. Light heavyweight and super heavyweight still to perform here. But it's looking better and better for the visitors. Now they cannot be beaten, but don't go away, because uh, <laughs> their second world champion, Julio Cesar La Cruz, will be in the ring next. They're light heavyweight at 81 kilos. 
successfully defending his world title at the recent Worlds in Almaty. But until then, a little more entertainment. The light heavyweight's definitely worth waiting for.